We want to continue this morning <clears throat> our teaching on the kingdom. We will be, do be on the kingdom for a while yet. There are several other things I want to talk about. But this morning we want to start, except to become as little children. And look here at the uh, passage of scripture in Matthew 18, 2. And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, Verily, 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 I say unto you, except you become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. We're now going to talk about entering the kingdom. And Jesus was the one that said, except you become as little children. We want to look to some extent at what that uh, what is entailed in that whole line of thought? So let's <clears throat> read a little further. He set the child in the midst of them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Matthew eighteen two to 6, Except ye be converted. Now, he's not talking to the Jews of that day. He's talking to his disciples. His disciples had been walking with him for a fair uh, amount of time. Many of them were convinced that he was the Christ. But he said, except you be converted and become as little children. The in, uh, insinuation there is that unless I am converted, I cannot return to a little child. The, the, the mindset of a little child and the mindset is the mindset of trust. Except you be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom. Now, he didn't say you won't see it, but he did say you won't enter, and there is a difference between the two. Where, whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. In other words, humbling myself is a choice. Being converted is a choice, and then, and, and yet it almost seems like there is a further work to be done in humbling myself. Those ones who are willing to make those choices are going to become the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. But whosoever shall offend one of these little ones, which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. So this is quite a strong offense to offend either a little child or someone who has um, come to this place of implicit trust in the Lord Jesus Christ expecting him and depending on him for everything that they need. A child depends on the parent for everything that they need. So we need to think on these things and realize what God is saying. Further to this, we have Matthew 19, 13 to 15. Then were there brought unto him little children that he should put his hands on them or for impartation and prayer. But the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me for such is the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them and he departed. Now in this case we're not sure whether he was in the midst of a message, whether it was at the end of the message, but we do know that the disciples' attitude was don't bother Jesus with little things. And Jesus said, these little ones, don't forbid them to come. For the kingdom of heaven is of such like people. Okay? So... Moving along here, let's look again at another passage of Scripture. This one is found in Mark. And it says this. 
Mark 10:13 to 15 and they brought young children to him that he should touch them there must have been some type of understanding of impartation and his disciples rebuked those that brought them or rebuked the adults but Jesus saw it and he was much displeased and said unto them suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not for such is the kingdom of God now here we have also the this entrance this child coming to this child like attitude also is an entrance to the kingdom of God so it is an entrance to both the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall not enter therein. There is a level of trust that God is wanting to bring you and I to. It requires conversion. It re and, and that is not initial salvation. I believe that is a mindset. I believe we can be carnal Christians and we will be saved, but we will not necessarily enter either the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. And if we had time, we would go into that. But I want you to think about these things because there are dimensions in God that Scripture seems to indicate that are beyond the level of initial salvation. But in order to come there, my attitude of trust, my attitude of dependence must be that of a little child. Now in Luke, we have another speaking of this incident or an incident like it. And in fact, I think that there were a number of incidents like this throughout the three and a half years of Jesus' ministry. And he, Luke eighteen fifteen to 17, And they brought unto him also infants. Now we've had little children. We've had children, little children, and now we have infants that he would touch them, that he would impart something to them. But when the, his disciples saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus called them unto him and said, Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God with the attitude as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. Now we've had three illustrations, one calling them children, one calling them little children, and Luke calling them infants. Now each one talks about a level of dependence. An infant is totally dependent on the parent. And I really believe that this is the attitude God is wanting to bring us to. An attitude of total dependence. But you see, it talks about, uh, in, in our base passage, it talked about uh, being converted. In other words, having a mind change. Okay? Uh, and it talks about becoming as little children. You cannot enter the kingdom of of heaven and then we saw the one that says you cannot enter the kingdom of God now here's what we want to do we want to look a little further at this one so let's come down <clears throat> whosoever therefore shall humble himself a choice as this little child the same as the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. And then he goes on to say, but who, whoever offends... It would be better that a millstone was hanged about his neck. So we've got children, we've got little children, and we've got infants. Jesus wants all of them. Different levels of dependence. The older we grow, the more independent we get. But I must humble myself. I must choose 
the attitude of total dependence does not depend on my circumstances does not depend on what I'm going through it depends on my choice mm. that is an awesome awesome thought isn't it when we are addressed as little children the passage should be noted as he is pointing out to us attitudes that are needed to enter the kingdom. Now we're going to take uh, some more lessons in this and we're going to be following the series of instructions to adults so that they can humble themselves and become as little children and qualify to enter the kingdom of God. Earlier in, in uh, the, the story or the lessons we've been teaching on the kingdom we talked about um, the difference between seeing and entering the kingdom each of these that we have addressed each of these scriptures have talked about the qualifications for entering the kingdom not for seeing it so we are progressing here and we're looking at and we'll be looking at in the next couple of lessons what do I do how do I humble myself? How do I become as a little child? How do I learn that total dependence on Father that talks, that's talked about, especially in the infant stage? And returning to that infant, infancy or that infant attitude, even though I am what most folks would consider a mature adult very important for us to gather this we'd like to finish this lesson today with our contact information that you see up there on the screen uh, I would just ask you this that if you need to use snail mail go ahead the address is there uh, I would prefer that if you have questions to ask you send them to the uh, Gmail address so that I won't miss anything that you ask and do the best I can uh, to search it out. If I don't know it, I'm going to search it out to answer your questions. And I'll have it written down there. Hopefully won't miss anything. Then you have our, our web address, uh, our web page on which we have product and which we have CDs and uh books will be available for for purchase and also there's a donate button there if you desire to help us continue to do these things and get this message out this is dr william j hurst of dr william j hurst ministries teaching all the nations the practical word of god and mentoring students one student at a time